All right, so we're at the mechanics now and we're just about to get this bike rack all welded on. So I'm gonna grind off everything that we need to get out of the way uh, and then we'll weld on the uh, new frame. pulled off the rear bumper so now we can get to this in here we'll be able to just put a weld across there one at the back a couple underneath there and that'll be super strong So, we've got the bike rack on, we've done our oil change, we're on our way to Hastings, let's go! So, uh, we found a Bunnings. Uh oh, is that the This is gonna get expensive. Finally gonna be able to clean the van. We're gonna find a vacuum cleaner. Cheapest the best. Handy mate. 50 bucks, that'll do. So, this Bunnings didn't have a timber yard at all. Didn't think that ever existed. So now we've got to go to a mitre 10 to get all our timber. All right, it's getting a bit hectic in here. We got stuff all over the floor, stuff all over the bed, and we've just gotten all of our shelving cut, thanks to Mitre 10. They actually cut down all the little intricate pieces for the shelves, so that's gonna make my job a heck of a lot easier. But now I need to get all this stuff into the bus and then go pick up Ellen, because she's getting us some bedding. Um, and then we've got to go do some grocery shopping. We've got to go to J-Car, get some electric stuff. Oh. Expensive day. All right, so we've just gotten to camp for the night on the beach once again, which is very nice. Um, and we're gonna try and do this shelf. We've got all of our stuff just outside and we wanna try and kind of get this shelf done this afternoon. So just gonna time lapse this and you guys can kind of come along for the journey. got a couple, a couple of the first screws in the shelf so the shelf is now hopefully not coming back out and um, I'm pretty happy with how it actually looks now. Now it's got all these dividers in it uh, after we get everything painted in the colors that it's all gonna be it's gonna be pretty good so we've got a couple of sections these dividers give it some strength and it holds the bottom up um, so this is kind of like our bedside table area then we've got kind of our storage over our living room and then we'll have two in the kitchen as well Alright, so we're starting the painting. I've just done the sanding. Well, I sanded all of the walls because it's like a laminate coating and we wanted to rough it up a bit so that the paint would stick. But the colours that we chose are actually in New Zealand. They're all named after places. And the white that we chose is named after Dunavirk, which is about 15 minutes down the road from where we bought the van, which is kind of nostalgic. So we're going to do most of the walls in Danavirk and then we'll um, do some of the covered faces in more of a charcoal black.
We're nearly done. Almost there. Then we just have to do the floors because now they look now they look very red. All right, so Ellen's nearly just finished the painting and I'm just pulled out the floorboards um, and I'm just trying to size up and see how I'm going to do this. Now, I've never put floorboards in before, so this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me, but I'm kind of excited putting floorboards in my first time. Been a long day. But I just want to say this whole place looks amazing, like just through the camera lens. Yeah? Yeah, it looks amazing. All right, so we're killing two birds with one stone at the moment. We're at a car wash uh, that's also a laundromat. So we really need to do some laundry. So we're going to be put the uh, laundry on and then we'll be able to wash up at the same time. How do we do this? So I think we do the high pressure soap. You to remain. Right. Oh, you've got to choose and then pay for yeah. each individual thing? I guess so. Alright, so better get your money worth. we got two minutes. Ready? Go, 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 go. So we've been to Kmart, Mitre 10, the warehouse. We're at the dump station now. We've just emptied our tanks and filled up our water. We're just grabbing some snacks for the road. Let's go to Taupo. Nice. Go up a, we're currently in third low, going up a hill on the highway. Come on. Ready? Third high. We're in second. Officially in second gear. Alright, so we've just stopped here at this uh, waterfall lookout. Uh, I think Upper needed a bit of a rest because that was a lot of second and third gear. Um, and Ellen was just trying to get a photo of Upper with the waterfall in the background. And then I just remembered something that I've forgotten since I got here. Before we left Australia, I repaired something and I brought it with me. And this is what it was. made it we're in Taupo or well, we're five minutes out of town at least we're um just got this lovely little free camp next to this beautiful river so we thought we'll just uh come check it out before we got into the van and made dinner and got comfortable but it's gorgeous down here and apparently you can swim here yeah it looks like it looks super clean
back. You've had a bit of a shower now? I feel so much better. <laughs> We're doing a geothermal walk, and um, Ellen is actually an environmental scientist, so Ellen can tell you all about how it works. So, according to the pamphlet, this is a really thin region of the lithospheric crust, which is the continental crust that sits above the mantle, and on average it's about 15 kilometres in width here, which is about half the average thickness of a continental plate or a continental like crust which allows the groundwater to seep much closer to the mantle and that's why you get steam coming up out of little vents here at Craters of the Moon. Can you feel it? Oh there's a little bit coming out just that? here. It's just like coming out of those little Let me put my hand on it. Oh, look at that. You feel a little hole in here. Oh, the steam. I can feel it. Oh, it smells like sulfur. Mmm, it smells like rotten egg. That's fun. <laughs> I can feel it, hey. If you get down, you can feel it. Just down here. Listen to that. No. Um, we've just stopped in at the warehouse because we've been looking at all of the bike shops, big biking town Taupo. There's about six or seven bike shops and we went to heaps of them trying to find a cover to put over the mountain bikes on the back because my bike's already started to get some rust on it um, and it's going to be outside in the elements for a year and that's not good to a you know nearly new bike, you know, you don't want that happening. So we were trying to find a cover and they're like 400 bucks, no one had them in stock until one of the guys at the bike shop just said, just go get a large barbecue cover. They're like 50 bucks and they're way thicker than the bike covers. Mm. What a great idea. So we just stopped in at the warehouse, got a huge barbecue cover. We'll be able to whack that straight over the top. The bike rack will still fold up and down and it'll uh, keep my bike and then when Ellen gets a bike, keep our bikes out of the elements. to the hookah honey hive and oh, oh I'm licking it I want to lick it oh we've just gotten a chocolate and hazelnut honey and it is amazing hazelnut's my favorite oh, flavor can you, can you, can you I want the lid you oh. dip your finger in no let me lick the lid I want the lid all right so now we're finally doing the walk down to hookah hall which is kind of the biggest kind of thing to do around here I'd say mm -hmm. um we're finally going and it's not raining too much either, so pretty good. Check it out. Oh, of course it starts belting down. We're on our way to somewhere called Waikaipo, Waikaipo, Waikaipo Bay, um, which is a freedom camping spot just um, down the lake from Taupo. It's not actually on the Campmate um, website or anything, but we actually just went to check out a bike for me and um, we decided to buy it. But the guy who um, we were buying it off recommended this spot. So we're pretty keen to check it out and have a shower because we've been in the rain for most of the day doing walks. We went for that swim at the hot pools. And yeah, I should probably keep doing directions.
So we stayed down here last night at uh, Lake Taupo, and uh, today we're going to go pick up your new mountain bike <laughs> and then head to Rotorua for probably over a week of uh, mountain biking and exploring and lots of good stuff. So we're going to head off now. We've packed up camp. We're going to say bye to Lake Taupo and hello Lake Rotorua. Alrighty guys, we're heading into Rotorua now. We're gonna end the video here, but thanks for joining us in Lake Taupo. You'll hear from us more in the coming weeks if you press that notification button. Like and subscribe please to keep us going and you'll see us soon. Thanks. Bye.